Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God on YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is July 15th, 2023 and today's daily scripture readings are found in Joshua chapter 24 verses 23 through 24 and Matthew chapter 16 verses 24 through 25 but I will be going to verse 26. And as always we are getting started with the index scripture first. So as you see Joshua chapter 24 starting at verse 23 and the word says now therefore he said put away the foreign gods which are among you and incline your heart to the lord god of israel and the people said to joshua the lord our god we will serve and his voice we will obey Amen. And on the index card, I have questions for us to um, self-reflect on. You know, whether or not it um, pertains to us. Um, will you incline your heart to the Lord God of Israel? Will you serve the Lord your God? Will you obey the Lord God's voice? I think this is a big one for all of us will we i say you but i'm putting it in a different way will we obey the lord god's voice because sometimes there might be stuff he's telling us that we might even question him on or be like i don't want to do that or you know if you have it so set where you want to do this thing but he's like no that's not what i have for you i have something else for you i want you to do this Will we be able to obey his voice and be able to put down our desires and what we want and to do what it is that he actually has for us and what his will is for us? Will we be able to deny ourselves? You know, like Jesus says, you know, we must deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow after him daily. So will we be able to deny the plans that we've planned out for us? To do what it is that God is telling us. Or, you know, just something simple. Go, tell that person this. Or do this. Whatever it may be. Will we obey the Lord God's voice? Now, let us go to Matthew chapter 16, starting at verse 24. And I will go down to 26. And I will come back to... The verses to re-emphasize them. Alright, so Matthew, as you see, chapter 16, starting at verse 24, and the word says, and then Jesus, he's going to be speaking with us. Then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone desires to come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whoever desires to save his life will lose it but whoever desires to save his life wait let me restart over i got ahead of myself then jesus said to his disciples if anyone desires to come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whoever desires to save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it verse 26 for what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? So now back to starting at verse 24 again. And then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? 
Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? These are great questions, Jesus, that for us to truly self-reflect on. And it's, you know, he's he's telling us straightforward. It's, it's like, that's what I love when we actually are in our word. And we don't just take what other people say. When we get in our word, we see that Jesus doesn't hide anything. He tells us straightforward, you know, crystal clear. He tells us, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. It's like we got to put down all our ambitions and everything that we had for us. And come after him. And do the will of our father. Now I'm not saying. It's like some of those dreams and stuff we may have. It could be. It still could be. You know part of the Lord's plan. He just might have it go in another direction. Than what we thought. But yeah Jesus he puts it. He puts it plain. But you know what I notice is. We have to be in our word. In order to see it. And to know it. And to know what it is that he wants. And to know what it is that the Lord desires of us. And to get to know him more. We have to be in his word. I have to be in his word. This is the only way that we will not be deceived. Is when we are in his word. You know we have the Holy Spirit who will teach us and guide us. And that way when we have the word in us. When other people are saying stuff that isn't sounding right holy spirit bam red flags would go up like nah this isn't right but we have to be in the word we have to know what the word of god says and what he is telling us and the direction he is telling us to go all right you all i hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning noon or night whenever you come across this video god bless each and every one of you all take care Bye.